Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Avi Reichenthal here for Nexa 3D. Um, really grateful that you're all joining us in this first ASME virtual event to talk additive manufacturing, which uh, has been my passion for the longest time. And uh, today I want to talk to you about how we at Nexa 3D are breaking the traditional productivity, performance, and speed barriers in additive manufacturing. We founded our company, Nexa 3D, in 2016 out of the realization that much more is required to be done to transition uh, polymer production to real manufacturing. Uh, and in doing so, our sole purpose here is to become your additive manufacturing partner of choice for your industrial and medical polymer production. In thinking about what does it mean to uh, break industry barriers uh, since we started the company with ideas and concepts in 2016, we focused specifically about ultra high speed, which in our mind was the ability to reduce cycle times from hours to minutes. We thought that increasing print format size could give us the ability to produce many, many more small parts faster as well as larger parts faster. And that's where we get kind of a, a geometrical improvement from size and speed. We felt that we needed to unlock the mechanical properties and durability of photoplastics and thermoplastics and deliver material diversity that would be sufficient to address all the use cases in polymer production. And ultimately, we felt that we needed validated, coded quality here that can deliver uh, a validated end-to-end -end workflow that would ensure that part after part, print after print, over many multiple machines, we can get the predictive quality uh, and performance from materials. So as we fast forward uh, four years into our journey, uh, here we are, we uh, now have two groundbreaking technologies, LSPC and QLS. Don't worry, I'll explain the acronyms in a minute. And each improves in our mind, polymer additive manufacturing productivity by orders of magnitude. So take a look uh, at where we are as we showcase here at ASME. To the left of my screen, you see our lubricant sublayer photo curing LSPC, photo polymer technology, much larger scale, our on light engine and beam delivery for much faster speeds. On the right, you see our recently acquired quantum laser centering, a quad laser, unique beam delivery, much higher productivity and automation. In both cases, we have taken the two cornerstone technology in polymer additive manufacturing, SLA and SLS, and we've improved on the speed and productivity several orders of magnitude. What that does for us is it gives us the ability to address the larger portion of both photo and thermoplastic polymer production with really high performance materials for industrial and healthcare applications with systems that are fourth generation additive manufacturing systems and are connected, smart, intuitive, industrial, and automated. Realizing that no one company could do it all by ourselves, we decided that ours will be an open platform and that we will invite all of the innovators and leading uh, material formulators and suppliers 
uh, including incredible companies like Henkel Loctite, BSM, BASF, Evonik, Arkema, to name a few. And together, we will unlock material performance through these partnerships and vastly expand the utility and the applications. So although we've been very busy uh, through the COVID pandemic, addressing all of our community needs, supplying PPEs, helping others, participating in task forces uh, across the world, we also continue to introduce new materials like this incredible Henkel 3843 ABS material, which I would really invite you to double click on and come see us at our virtual booth to talk about some more. We also introduced uh, another uh, uh, cyanide ester-like material. This is a mono material, so we don't have uh, any of uh, the other associated issues, but a material that has really unique characteristics, both for tooling applications and part applications. Take a look here to the right, you'll see we produced over 2,000 pulleys in less than two and a half hours. That's 13 parts per minute uh, that can go directly onto uh, post-processing and production and are fit for long-term use. We also introduced an incredible uh, medical material, XMED 412, again, with our good partner, Henkel. And this is just, uh, a very functional polypropylene-like material uh, that is biocompatible and could be used both in medical and wearable devices and also has been cleared and validated for certain uh, medical applications like swabs. Uh, and by the way, the material can be autoclaved. It could be machined, tapped, polished, and uh, Basically, the, 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 there are many, many applications here. And in the next few weeks, if you're here at the ASME show, please come and uh, talk to us about XCast, which is our casting material. We're ready to bring it to market in the next few weeks. And it will be uh, a terrific candidate, both for uh, aerospace manufacturing, other casting applications. And uh, we're really excited about it come talk to us about it and uh, discover how you can become an early adapter. Finally, I'll be remiss if I didn't mention our strong commitment here to a validated end-to-end -end digital workflow, both in terms of cycle time compression and productivity, but also in terms of creating a predictable, repeatable, and consistent workflow across from intuitive guided file prep, all the way to adaptive controlled printing with lots of coded information at the slice level and closed loop monitoring, material specific washing cycles and material specific cure cycles with recipes all in the name of consistency and repeatability. And finally, with our commitment to sustainability and to a circular economy. We also introduced in the last few weeks a new wash solvent, X-Clean, very effective, fairly safe to handle and store, much easier than IPA in those re respects. Uh, much more environmentally friendly in terms of the input material, yields, yields disposal, recyclability, and the opportunity to uh, have full recovery. We opened it to the entire community, not just to Nexa 3D users. Please check it out, especially during this time that IPA is still scarce. We are here to show you one of the world's fastest SLA 3D printers. Did it make this? It did. Uh, how much time do you think it took to print this? Let's see, I'm gonna hold this. Okay, this is a giant Einstein head. And it's pretty tall and on that build plate. This is resin. I would imagine 15 hours, 20 hours. Two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Two and a half. This is, this is huge. That's insane. Okay. Well, you know what? I want to show you. You know what? This is the reaction that we get from everybody who is exposed to our NXC 400 for the first time. 
the same reaction that Joel had of disbelief and astonishment is what we get uh, because it really does improve speed orders of magnitude. Take a look at what happens when we want to run a project. And here we teamed up with another great ecosystem partner, Parameters, who's also here at the show. And you should come and uh, check out how you can get your free access to Cognicad here at the show. But we've used light weighting from parameters to generatively design parts that we wanted to put on a diet for this fun utility vehicle. Some of them we just printed patterns and went directly uh, into investment casting. With others, we uh, used our new XCAST material and went that way uh, into casting. When you look at all the side-by-sides, within 30 days, we reduced all the parts that we redesigned by some 40%. And to me, this is proof positive that the combined power of our solutions is exactly what the marketplace need uh, in a post-COVID environment in which we can deliver greater value from design agility and supply chain resiliency. And when you look at what does that mean, uh, and you take all of the available uh, photopolymer solutions that are comparable today on the market, and you ask yourself, how many parts can I get out of each one of these machines in one hour? Take a look here at midsole. Uh, the NXC 400 was able to deliver 23 parts. A DLS machine would have delivered three. A DLP machine, about two. And uh, a desktop SLA system, less than one. That is the power of having orders of magnitude productivity improvement. Take a look at uh, the same challenge. You have one hour on each machine. How many parts can you produce? And you can see again a big difference between LSPC at 165 almost, DLS at uh, 22, DLP at 10, and desktop SLA at rounded up to seven. Uh, a part that all of us recognize from this period, Venturi tubes on LSPC 112 in one hour, on DLS 15, DLP 10, and desktop SLA about four. And finally, because of our unique uh, build envelope, we can do some parts that these comparable systems uh, cannot print just due to geometry and shear size. Uh, and here you can see nine uh, face shields in one hour. Why is all of that important? Because for Nexa 3D, both on the SLA side and the SLS side, photoplastics, thermoplastics, we believe that it's all about breaking the barriers on speed, productivity, and cycle times. And you can see here, uh, we can print about 5,400 swabs daily on one of our machines. And that is how we are giving back our capabilities now to the marketplace. I hope you like what you see. I hope you'll come and visit us at the ASME virtual exhibit. Claim your free Cognicad access for lightweighting and topology op optimization. And please book your live demo so that you can see for yourself. We're all passionate practitioners. We believe that additive manufacturing is at an inflection point and that COVID really validated the power and flexibility of what we do as a community, as an industry. For me personally, 17 years into this, there has never been a better time to be in additive manufacturing, except maybe next year. Please join us and see for yourself.